Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris. Guys, before we get started on this video, we are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. We just ask if you are a new viewer or someone that has tuned into our channel before and are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and help us get to 100,000 followers or subscribers. But with that being said, guys, let's get started on this video. I've got a very nice 2005 GMC Sierra that is done up like a sport truck with full paint match and beautiful paint, 40,000 original miles, and a little extra sauce underneath the hood, but we'll get to that here shortly. Overall, this truck is in really good condition. That's kind of what you expect with 40,000 miles on this truck, guys. It's super clean. I really like the sportiness of the painted bumper and the painted grill. Your headlights and everything are in good condition, and they're all LED as well. Your hood is in great condition. I don't see any imperfections or rock chips. Just a super clean truck. These MBS trucks, guys, are the next hot thing. They're already kind of there. One thing that I really like about them is you don't have to do a motor swap. You get this truck, it's going to have a 4.8 or a 5.3 in it already, and you can just do some power adders like a nice cam or maybe a, a LSA supercharger or a pro charger or turbos if you guys like that. But overall, this truck is very nice. Your glass is in good condition. All your molding and your weather stripping is in really good condition. The gaps on this truck is in really nice condition. Uh, this truck has a clean Carfax, so no issues with that. You got some really nice 22 inch intro wheels with some Nitto tires on there. Very nice setup. Check out your gaps here on your fender and your door, super nice. Your door is super clean. I really like the little touch of the chrome trim that'll help protect the door when you're parking it in a parking lot. Anybody accidentally opens up the door, you know, it's not gonna dent your door, it's just gonna hit this molding. Your door handles here are paint matched to match the truck. Really nice touch there. All your weather stripping here is nice condition. All your plastic is nice and black. The roof of the truck's in great condition. Your back glass is really clean, guys. You do have the sliding, sliding um, window back there as well. All your plastic here is in overall good condition. This is a step side, so you do get the little step here next to your gas door to where you can step up into the back of the truck, which is really nice. Got the 22 inch uh, intro wheels in the back as well with some brand new Nitto tires. Uh, bedside super clean. You got your stock tail lights here, no oxidation or fading, super, super clean. We'll look at the rear of the tailgate back here. That's really nice as well. I really like this plastic shroud here that gives it like a little bit of a sporty look with the lip there. You also have the paint match tailgate handle and your bumper has been paint matched as well. And as you guys can probably see, you do have a little uh, camera back there next to the license plate that is connected to the head unit inside the truck for a reverse camera, which is really nice. But guys, with that being said, let's work our way back up front so I can show you what's underneath the hood. All right, guys, check out that LM7 underneath the hood. Now, a lot of you might be going, what's an LM7? So that's going to be an aluminum block, a 5.3 liter LS platform type motor. So the truck motors weren't called LS motors. So they had different names like LQ4, LQ9, LM7. So this is the LM7 version of that uh, platform of the LS motors. And as you can tell, you can say, man, that filter looks like it's in a weird place. Well, that's actually where a supercharger is mounted. That's a Pro Charger brand supercharger. And you've got your filter mounted, mounted up there to get that fresh air fed to the engine. You do have the Pro Charger blow off valve over here. And this kit sounds amazing, guys. When this thing is running, it sounds like a jet or some sort of like Apache helicopter or something. I mean, it is absolutely wild. But other than that, everything is mostly original underneath the hood here. You got ice cold AC, you got electric fans to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, but overall, a very clean engine bay. And this is one nice truck, guys. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move to the interior so I can show you what that has to offer. All right, guys, check out this beautiful charcoal interior. For the age of this truck, this interior is very, very nice, guys. The dash isn't cracked, your headliner's not falling down. And as you can tell, you've got LED lights all inside the cab here. Definitely gives it a more like new feel to it because all your modern vehicles are now coming with uh, LED. 
interior lights. You do have the center console here. You can fold that up and you have a, a third seat there or you can fold it down and you've got a nice little console. You've got plenty of storage in there to put different stuff. Got two nice cup holders here to put your drinks. You've got an upgraded uh, Alpine head unit there that has got a backup camera touch screen, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android, Android Auto, and all that stuff there. You got some really nice floor mats here. Your carpet is in really good condition. Your seats, guys, look brand new. I mean, they hardly look like they've been sat in. Overall, a very, very nice interior. Mostly original, but super clean. Um, I really like these interiors because they have really nice modern touches like power windows, power mirrors, power locks, uh, but overall, a very clean interior. But guys, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Typically, we do do a drive portion after this, but we've got some pretty bad weather here in Atlanta today, and we wanted to get a video on this truck. If you're interested in this truck and you wanna see a drive video, reach out to us, either me or my partner, Justin, will do a nice little drive video for you. That way you can see how good this truck drives, or maybe later on down the road, we'll, we'll do a nice little drive video and just post that separately. Uh, but overall, this is a very clean truck and I do not see it lasting long. If you guys are interested in this truck, give us a call at 770-738-7111. You can also see this truck in more detail at our website at collectiblemotors.com. So go there and check it out and don't hesitate to give us a call because this one won't last long. But till the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.